Hi hey guys, a very quick one over here. Now this week what we are looking out for in the market is we are paying very close attention to the New Zealand dollar and there will be two pairs I'll be sharing with you in this particular video. Number one is the New Zealand dollar. Okay, uh, the other one is actually the pound kiwi. So uh, we're looking to buy the New Zealand. Okay, so what it means is that for New Zealand dollar, that particular pair, we are looking for buy setups. And then uh, for the pound New Zealand, we are looking for shorting opportunities. All right, so I'll bring you to the chart in a moment. Uh, but I also want to share with you a very good news over here is that we have just recently uh, kind of like soft launch our online portal. Okay, called eSmart.academy. I'll drop the link in the description below as well. Uh, we are doing a soft launch, which means that right now you'll be able to register yourself by dropping an email. Okay, uh, through the website so that when we actually kickstart and officially launch that portal itself, uh, we'll be giving out some free content, uh, some educational content that will be able to add value add okay, and benefit into your trading uh, journey itself. Okay, so uh, if you want to be part of that exclusive uh, soft launch campaign, uh, feel free to visit the website esmart.academy and just fill up your email in that uh form below and then uh, what will happen is that when we kickstart, when we launch it, uh, we'll actually send out an email to all people, uh, all of you who have actually uh, put your email during this phase. Alright, so with that, uh, we'll actually go to the charts and then I'll talk to you again. Alright guys, so for this week, focus will be on the New Zealand dollar, uh, mainly the Kiwi. So uh, in this video over here, I'll share with you two main pairs that uh, we are looking to buy in New Zealand. Uh, one is of course the New Zealand dollar and then the other one is uh, pound New Zealand. Okay, so let me bring you through the whole process again, um, starting from the higher time frame, which is the daily chart right now. You can see that uh, from a very simple technical perspective, okay, we have a previous bottom over here and price right now has tested this. And we are seeing uh, quite an impulsive retracement or a bounce back up. So what I'm seeing over here is that there's a very high possibility Okay, we might see a move going higher potentially towards 0 0.6755 or even up to 0 0.7438. Okay, and not only that, uh, what we see is that this entire drop okay, since the start of 2018 all the way to today, uh, this entire move sounds and looks pretty corrective. Okay, and that gives us the higher probability direction it's to the upside. Okay, so if I go down to the hourly time frame, okay, that's where I actually look for entry. Okay, so you can see this white horizontal line is from the previous low that we actually saw on the daily chart. And if I zoom in a little bit right now, okay, uh, what I'm seeing over here is that we do have a very sharp drop, but the rebound looks pretty strong as well. Okay, so we might get an immediate small impulse and if price continue to develop as what we are seeing at this very moment, okay, uh, it's likely going to form a corrective pattern. Uh, and if this is the case, then uh, we do have a valid buy trade setup going uh, forward. Okay, of course, uh, I'm also expecting that there's this possibility that it can form, giving us a mini double bottom before the eventual move uh, going to get started moving to the up uh, higher side. Okay, so for this week, what I want to really see and uh, forecast in terms of the New Zealand dollar for this particular pair right now, okay, is that there's two potential scenarios. One is that here it forms a corrective pattern, okay, basically an impulse flat pattern, uh, and that will give me a setup to look for a buy trick. Okay, alternatively, the other scenario that I'm looking out for is that from here it starts to form a much bigger corrective structure potentially forming a double bottom uh, scenario before it goes. Okay, both of these are valid setup for, for me, uh, unless you know price from here give a very sharp drop and corrective pattern like that, then uh, of course I won't be looking to buy the New Zealand at this very moment if price develop this pattern. Okay, so um, as, as usual, uh, I think I shared this as well in, in the past few trade ideas video. Okay, these are not trade signals, but basically a process of me sharing with you some of the potential opportunity okay, and the top process behind. Okay, so one of it is definitely New Zealand dollar. Uh, a very quick one, okay, just based on this current setting, let's say I have a stop of 50 pip. Okay, uh, my target would be based on 
that previous high over there, which is decided on the daily time frame. Okay, uh, that will give me a risk reward of close to one to nine. Pretty decent trade. Again, um, you know, every time I see an opportunity like this, uh, definitely I'll be taking that trade. Okay, another one that uh, I'm also looking at uh, in terms of the top, uh, New Zealand. Okay, is uh against the pound. Okay, so if I'm looking to buy the New Zealand, then uh for pound kiwi, I'll be looking to short it. Same process over here again uh, on the daily time frame. Okay, you can see that uh we do have a kind of a double bottom. Uh, sorry, double top formation. Okay, and this part here, this is pretty corrective. Okay, so you can see this move, um, likely gonna form a double top, and we are expecting a move lower. Okay. If I go down to the hourly, you can see over here, um, this top has been tested a few times and we do have this kind of diagonal pattern moving up as well. It's a very corrective structure, which means that there's a very high probability uh, eventually the direction is to the downside. Okay, And right now, uh, what I have over here is uh, two kind of like short term profit targets. One is at 1.9997, which is very close to the two point zero psychological number and the other level that I'm looking out for is 1.9413 okay uh, definitely I won't be putting my take profit here the risk reward is quite small I'll be putting it at least minimally here but this is the area that I'll pay close attention when price eventually reach that okay so similarly the setup that I'm looking out for Okay, uh, would be a flag. Right now, we are seeing a potential development. Okay, so this gives us a valid setup to take the trade to the downside. Uh, of course, the same case is that it can eventually form a bigger corrective structure, forming a mini double top over here. Okay, before the drop to the downside. Okay, so again, same thing. Uh, I will need to see what price will eventually develop, but simply based on this. Okay, uh, this trade here, the risk to reward for my first target is not that huge. It's about 1 is to 4.5. Uh, but if I bring it to the daily time frame, okay, it has a potential to drop all the way to, to this low here, okay, which is 1 is to 10. Okay, but if, of course, it stops here and, and I take profit about 1, point, 1 is to 4.5, um, to me, that is really pretty decent. Okay, and of course, uh, this is excluding if I have any skill in opportunity as price continues to trickle the way down. Right, so these are the two pairs that I'm personally monitoring. Of course, uh, some of the pairs that I shared with you in the previous videos, like uh, Pound Australia, similarly, I'm still monitoring it. Right, uh, Euro Swiss franc, okay, same thing, but you see price is pretty choppy as, th as this, uh, at this very moment. Uh, we are not seeing very clear corrective structure. Okay, so I'll be slightly more patient to it, but the upside opportunity is still there. It's pretty big. Uh, pretty big. Okay. Uh, similarly on dollar Canadian, one of the video that I shared with you guys is uh, we're looking for, you know, that structure and opportunity down before the big move up. Um, right now the entire structure didn't really change. You can see there's a very strong move up, but similarly, um, in a very short period of time, it came back down pretty sharp. Okay, so we have an impulse, impulse, and right now the immediate impulse is to the downside. Okay, uh, so if I see a flag pattern setting up over here, we'll be taking the short trade to the downside. Okay, with uh, our target at this level of 1.2950. Okay, so basically if I just use a very quick gauge to, to look at my risk to reward ratio, Okay, uh, I, I definitely for dollar cap won't be putting a stop loss of 80 plus pips. That's too big. Okay, I'll wait for an opportunity that I can put in somewhere around my 40, 30 pips. That would be more than enough. Okay, but um, just looking at this with an 80 pip stop loss, right? Uh, my risk to reward is 1 is to 4. Still not too bad, right? But of course, if when I can reduce this significantly to about 45, um, the risk to reward becomes close to 1 is to 8. Okay, and that makes it more attractive. Okay, so same thing, um, right now doesn't mean that uh, after you watch this video immediately you short the dollar cat or, or you know the, the pound kiwi you short it or the dollar you go and buy it. Uh, but basically the opportunity is there, okay, but you need to have your valid setup that you want to really look up for it, right? give you a valid trade entry and then that's where you take a trade.